this is the first day that I have long sleeves and long pants on. So we have to leave. It's too cold. It's 61 degrees. It's too cold. I'm kidding. We're not going to leave till December. I think. Anyway, um, we have a little space heater. We're having a full air and reverse cycle heat. Is it reverse cycle heat? Yeah. Mm. In, um, installed in the whole boat this Thursday. So no more space heaters. But this morning I got up, it was 65 degrees in the aft cabin. I turned on my little space heater and it was 70 within 15 minutes. So, mm. so anyway, long, long sleeves, long pants, time to leave. Okay. Bye. Okay. Our water system has a situation where you turn on the water, and the pump cycles quickly. Turn on the hot water when the water goes through the water heater. It cycles a little longer. Um, and an accumulator is supposed to reduce that. It evens out the water pressure so the pump cycles more slowly. Um, the boat has an accumulator on it under the galley. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But it's not hooked up and it looks older so we're just going to replace it with a new one. The old accumulator is right there. I think I'm going to remove that. And I don't know if we'll go in the same location or not. It has to go downstream of this water pump right there. See how hard it is to get that thing out and go from there. There's our beautiful new water heater. Doesn't look like it leaks. But I'm going to turn the water on and see. Okay, we're going to try to make that go away. Okay, here's the old accumulator dated September 1996. So that would make it 23 plus 4, 27 years old. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it served its purpose well. This is a big water filter thing, I think. I'm just going to remove it because it's not doing anything. Don't know what it's for. Just taking a bunch of space. I think I'll put the new accumulator there. Okay, I just pulled this out. It says on top of it, two water maker pre-filter is what it looks like is written on there. Um, but I think the water maker has all of its parts in the aft cabin. I don't think we need this for anything. I'll hang on to it just in case, but. Okay, so you're putting in a new accumulator. Um, you pulled out the old one, which was 27 years old. And you're deciding where to put it because, and I asked if you were gonna put it where the old one was. And you said, nope, too hard. Too hard to get to. I'm going to put it in a place where it's a little easier to access because we may want to do maintenance on it, which means adjusting the pressure on it with the air pump. Okay. We'll see about that. We probably won't have to do that. Um, but we can if we need to. And there's no way for us to check the pressure in the old one to see if it was even working. I don't even want to mess with it. Right. Yeah, there's a way. It's a there's a it's like a bicycle valve. Uh-huh. And you just take an air pressure. Oh, yeah, we have one uh, in the car. Yeah. In the glove compartment. And <gasps> one on the bike. Brilliant. Um and you just check the air pressure that way and then you adjust it that way. You either let it out or fill it up just like you were inflating a a uh, tire. Do we have we have do we have an air pump on board? 
we have a hand pump. That would do it. On board. It yep. would be kind of fun to test it just before you pitch it or upcycle it or whatever you're going to okay. do with it. Well, that's, it's, it's in the glove box if yeah. you want to. Yeah, I think the it. next time we're there, I have to take the bubbles back anyway. So the next time we're there, we're, I'm going to grab that. If we could, that, that it would just be fun to see how it works. Yeah, it would be fun to see. Are you saving those um, those fittings or do the, do the new fittings? There's nothing on here that I want, although okay. this is a nice metal cap. <laughs> For a spare cap, I might keep that. <laughs> there you go. But anyway. No, I'm not saving anything off of here. Okay. Okay, so you just went up to the ship store and got some hose. We're so lucky. Eight feet of half inch water hose, $25. Worth every penny. Worth every penny of it. It's That's what's so awesome about being here our first year in the boatyard. And we have a ship store and you know, the accumulator we ordered in, but I don't even know. If Cost about the same <laughs> as the hose. Yeah. A little bit more. And you're using some old parts, you said? I am using a couple of fittings that we had. Awesome. Um, yeah, I might have even got new ones if they had them up there, but they didn't have these. So I just need to make those hoses face the same direction, the in and the out. So I'm going to install it in a place underneath the sink where we can have access to the air valve. Okay, to test it on a regular basis? Yep. Okay. Yep. And so both hoses have to go might the do same it like way. That. Ooh, that might even be easier, huh? Just or is it is it tougher for the water to travel that way? Nope, you can install it any way you want. The old one was upside down like that. Um, oh, okay. It's just water pressure and air pressure. But I almost I kinda like pushing down check pressure uh -huh. okay but I'm just dry fitting these now I'm just screwing them on to see if they how they fit and, and Jim's really good about that he he does dry fittings um, when um, he's ordering new pieces or new tanks he does everything in cardboard first to see how it's gonna fit and if it will fit and very meticulous and it's really, really helpful to only have to do it like once instead of five times ordering in the wrong things or Jim is very... With these PVC fittings, you can't over tighten them and you can't, you aren't supposed to use any sort of Teflon tape or sealant, uh, <laughs> thread sealant on them. You're just supposed to hand tighten them and then a little bit. And so, in order to get this facing the right direction, I have to start it at the proper, in the proper direction, so it ends up facing the proper direction ah. without over tightening. Over tightening is bad. I mean, I just, I, I just still can't believe that you know how to do this. We have lived together for, <laughs> like, going on. 45 years married 43 I mean there's nothing in our history that tells me you should know how to do this it just blows you know, me away when I worked at the cemetery right he was going to school full time and working full time a uh, sprinkler system using PVC pipe and so I'm familiar with PVC and how it works and what you're supposed to do from hey, that. that was a hundred years ago well, yeah, but you don't forget things like that. That's amazing. That's amazing. So shout out to, what was the guy's name at Cemetery? Richard Wagner is the one who taught me the most, the guy that worked there. Yeah. Warren Rosacker was the manager yeah, that hired it. me. And Richard was married to Rhonda Wagner. She was a nurse that I knew at the hospital because I worked yep. at the hospital for eight years. Wow, small world. And I just can't believe, I watch you do these things and I just can't hardly believe you have this knowledge base. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm disturbing you, but. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, that's one. And we'll 
put this long thing over here. This guy run where we want it to go. Which is going to be up and over. Take these hoses together to make them act like one as I feed them through because they're going to take the same path probably. My arms were six inches longer, that would be helpful. Okay, looks like we've got wire nuts on our water pump. Surveyor said we shouldn't have wire nuts on the boat. They should be connected with more permanent electrical connectors. So we'll worry about that later.
Yeah, this is going to work out fine. I'm actually going to have a little extra hose. this camera off. I can't do what I need to do. Okay, you're going to turn on the water valve under the sink. Yep. And then the water pressure. Yep. And I'm going to lay down some paper towels so if there's any sort of a leak, it'll show up. Okay. Because I did some knocking around. I didn't really do much serious plumbing. Just a couple of connections, but I do want to know if there's any drips. And this is a good way to tell. For me. Right, you've always done that. Been doing that a long time. Three months that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to open this water valve right now. Okay. Let's so. see what happens so the pump will run. Okay. So it sounded like it was working. But it is firing. Okay, got the accumulator installed um, and it leaked. Turns out I tried to use some old fittings, um, old PVC fittings. They looked fine, but they leaked. So I'm kind of convinced that old PVC fittings aren't the way to go. And if there's 30 year old PVC, even though it should be fine, I'm kind of convinced that we need to just use new fittings just to be safe. So I just went ahead and used this new piece of hose, spliced it in there and uh, put the fitting that came with the unit on the end and then I'll screw it in there and test it again. We did use old fittings down here for the water heater. Several of them. Thought I was saving some money but I think from now on I'm just gonna try to try to use newer fittings. A new hose and just kind of see how that goes. Okay, it looks like there's plenty of hose that needs replaced, but we'll worry about that another day. Now I'm going to hook this up and see if it works. Maybe I'll put the good one here and squeeze myself. Just a 
little drain out of the pipe there. Get the water shut off, so pump shut off. So we'll have no pressure and no action. water coming from the tanks. It's hard to talk while I do work. I've been good at that. Hand tight and then maybe another turn. That looks about good. Okay, now she's all hooked up and ready to go. Should work just fine. Let's give it a shot. Okay, first we turn on the water, because the water pump doesn't like it if the water is shut off. First we turn on the water, turn on a faucet to let some air out, and then we turn on the water pressure, right here. Air squirting out of there. That's nice. Now let's see under here if there's any leaks. Flashlight. Doesn't look like anything's leaking too bad. <laughs> Too bad, it shouldn't be leaking at all. Nothing's leaking down here. No water. No pressure's on. Okay, I'm going to run a little hot water. There. The pump is cycling on and off at greater intervals. Cold water now, which is much easier on the pump. It makes for a more consistent flow of water. I hate wasting all that good water, but that's how it's supposed to work. That's how it's supposed to work. As long as it doesn't leak, we're all good. I can't see any leaks, but I'm going to wipe it up real good, then lay paper towels down and run it again, see if anything drips on the paper towels. Now, the rest of the story, we clean up, hang up wet towels, um, like right there, turn on a fan, that's our drying rack. Put our tools away. These guys came in handy. They never have been and never will be in order, but we don't care. This came in handy to cut that hose with smooth, clean edges. Keeping PVC fittings for emergency use only. We definitely don't want to use these old fittings anymore, they leak.
What you doing back here, honey? I'm cleaning up my tools. You are. I'm getting ready for the heating and air people tomorrow. Okay, looks like you're doing some major reorganization. I'm just shoving stuff in. <laughs> That's what I mean by major reorganization. <laughs> Look at this workbench. Major reorganization. <laughs> I think after this last event, I think I'm pretty much done with 30 year old fittings and stuff. And I think, I think we probably ought to use newer stuff. Okay. So there's a lot of things that I was saving that I'm probably not going to save so much. Yeah. But that well, will. Well, in a pinch, it might get us to another port. In a pinch, yeah. I will keep stuff for pinches yeah because we just we just never know you just never know right yeah Derek was saying we should do some major sailing before we try to cross an ocean because you know something's gonna go wrong right and i'm sitting here thinking the next story he told was how a bunch of very experienced sailors on a new boat all the things that went wrong that's right <laughs> so things will always go wrong i don't care who you are right. or what kind of boat you have and we have been sailing for 20 years although shooting stars new to us but we both do very well in very high intense pressure situations right we always have it's a little stuff that puts us right over the edge <laughs> the meaningless stuff the meaningless that... stuff drives us crazy yeah and freaks us out right. but the big the major ocean, stuff yeah yeah we we always handle those in stride calmly always have yeah. no matter what the tragedy emergency whatever it was we were able to do that and that was before our boys town training yes. we were <laughs> well, just kind of like that yeah it, yeah because we we both work together in restaurant yeah all through high school together yep and we knew high pressure situations and we knew how each other yep. functioned. In we life. respected each other's work ethic. Yes. <laughs> Along with various other parts. <laughs> Make out sessions. All right. That's enough of that. It's called boat yoga, any boat projects, because you have to lay a yoga mat down to get into um, these tight spaces. So I'm putting the yoga mat away because I think I'm done with this project. This needs a little reorganization back here, I believe. tools no tools in there we want to give a huge shout out to ryan from harchi yacht uh, yard who recommended the accumulator and also a fond farewell and good luck to one of our favorite people ricky at harchi yacht harbor marina we will miss you and wish you the best of luck in your new career cheers <laughs>